What's good everybody, Jeff here. Well, no, that isn't CSGO and no way for me to bit click with Global Elite, but I'm sure I'll find a way. In today's video, we're looking at Valorant, previously known as Project A. Now, you may have noticed I stayed away from voicing my opinion on this game up until I got to try it. Otherwise, what are you basing your opinion on? Many people call this game the next CSGO or even a CSGO killer. And of course, that is something I want to keep an eye on. Turns out, I was able to play during the last weekend alongside 300 other streamers and YouTubers as Riot organized a big alpha test. Thank you by the way Riot for inviting me and organizing this, because I'm gonna say it right away, I've been playing CS for 15 years and I never got to talk with anyone from Valve like ever. They follow me on Twitter and that's the only contact I've ever had with any one of them. Now, if you don't know what Valorant is, here's a recap in 30 seconds. Riot, you know, the guys behind League of Legends, announced an FPS called the Project A. Now it's called Valorant and the game takes the core gameplay of CS like economy, weapons, rounds, aimings, and add a few things, characters, abilities, and maps. The design is different, the gameplay is different, but has many similarities with CS. And I know for a fact that many of you will enjoy playing both of those games. However, since day one, they announced a heavy focus on anti-cheat, tech, and performance. And since Riot is behind, we can expect them to invest a lot into eSport to make it last long and create a healthy scene, just like Valve did for Dota, not for CS. Anyway, if you don't know me, my name is Jeff, I spent 15,000 hours of my life playing Counter-Strike, and I want to add that this is not sponsored in any way. We were invited to try the game with no strings attached. We can create content if we want to, we can say what we want as well. In fact, the devs allowed us to say that we don't like the game if we do not like it. So I figured there's gonna be a lot of people going into details of every character and the specificities, the things you got to know. Well, on my end, I just wanna share a good game I've had in solo queue while I was discovering the game, and you will understand that although it really looks different, CS players will have it very easy compared to others. So here comes the part where we have to lock in the characters, and as I said before, you have different characters, which I don't think it's really worth to go into details of each one of those. There's probably gonna be a lot of different videos showing you this already. I actually went for Phoenix because it's a character that's known for being able to make some plays. There we go. So that is the bomb, but actually I have a CP spike. We're now in the buy phase, and the first thing you can see already is some zones are blocked off, and I cannot push through until the buy phase is over. And I can go, now go see, go see rush. Oh boy, we have Russians. <laughs> this game stole so much from CS:GO. <laughs> oh boy! Don't stop. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, already you can already tell there's a lot of uh, similarities with CS:GO. Um, those models are actually not models, they are characters. They all have different abilities. One of mine Don't is stop. Go, 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 go. Alright, let's see. Plant, 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 plant. You have the bomb, my friend, watch out. Oh, we're getting back stabbed. Please. See that? Nice. Let's do it down. I'm gonna throw Molotov. I can actually heal myself if I go in there. Oh, he died with the bomb. With the spike, sorry. Good job. <laughs> hey, it's actually a spike. Got a <laughs> so, second round. I got myself a Kevlar here. This is a buy menu, by the way, so you're able to move around while you buy. But of course, you still cannot cross those walls over there. Uh, those are my abilities. My character happens to have flashes. That's what I use uh, with my Kevlar, and I have enough to buy. Mm. I'm going to go for the Guardian. It's, it's kind of a DMR. The rest of the weapons are pretty much the same as CSGO, to be honest. All right. The animations are cool though, look at that. This is really satisfying, right? Oh, 
Oh. One more. Another one to the right. The sound cues are very important here, much like CSGO. So, I'll get myself. Go, go a rush. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> this right there is an orb. It's gonna give me one more point for my ult. I'm actually gonna take it now. <laughs> In the middle of the fight. That's one man down. Slam, slam. No clue for last. Sweet. Good job. Well, my ult is ready now. And this is like the strongest ability from your character. Mine is actually quite OP as it will allow me for seven seconds to rush in anywhere. And if I die, I'm going to get called back to my position from which I called it. I'm going to show you that. Go be rush. Go be rush. Okay. So I'm going to cast it and then I can go. AVP, meet AVP. Oh, thanks. I was having Mr. Well, there was actually no one. <laughs> I'm very sad. This is Cal. Okay. She's, uh, she's B. She's B. Okay, now I can choose if I want it to go left or right. Left click or right click, so I'm gonna go left. There you nice go. flash, good job. This right there is an ability from my character. So not every character are able to flash. And from a CSGO player, this is very terrifying. Same goes for um, Jet, hold on, where is she? She's here, she's able to fly in the air, but she also has one of the abilities to double jumps, kinda. Like once in a round, she can do a big jump and get on top of boxes where I will never be able to go there, ever. So I guess the balance will be a very big discussion here. What you happen to... Ah, sick. Oh yeah, Sage here, she's able to heal people. Once in a round, but still, she's able to. Flash in. Ah. To the left. Behind us, behind us. One enemy remaining. Nice one. So that is Good my job. other ability. I can cross nice. it, and when I cross it, I get healed up. But if my teammate is crossed it or someone else, he gets hit. Some kind of like standing up wall-ish Molotov. Oh, he was there. Oh, Jet is on top. Got him. Beware of the flanks. Appears to be no one. Oh, there you go. Typical flink. Down on A. Flashing. I'm gonna push in, hold on. With my ult. Oh, is that what I wanted to do? Oh, man. There was no one to kill, but still it was quite useful, as we got a lot of information. I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna plant the bomb now. There you go. Well played, well played. This is flawless. So a quick rundown about the menu. This will be the Deagle, 5.7, uh, CZ, 
This is something new. You also have the SMGs, the rifles that you usually have on CSGO. M4 AK, I'm playing with AK right now. This is the Scout, this is the OVP. Those are exotics, negevs, and then the shotguns. And if you look at it this way, there is a lot to compare with CSGO, right? Is there a chance he's holding the bomb? Fair enough. No, no, I hate those traps. Well, so gotta... let's take the spike this time. Yes. Kanka, ben C'den gitmeyi seviyorum ya. Down B. And now I'm gonna get teleported back to where I was. C is open if you wanna come. There you go. Oh, I never, I, I haven't mentioned yet that you can actually zoom in DK. Um. You can zoom in almost all the rifles or SMGs, by the way, but it will impact the recoil. Look at that. If I spray, you can see it's quite easy to control, for CS players at least. And if I zoom in, you know, it's kind of the same, but slower. Does it remind you of something? Because it kind of reminds me of DSG. I just can't get rid of it. Watch out. Two down mid, that is to be. Double door. Behind B. Down. Maybe. Yeah, boy. CSGO players have it easy on this game, I can tell you. So, that was the last round. It's max round 12. We're now going to switch well to the all. attack side, to the defense side, sorry. Um, I could go for the Kevlar, like we do in CSGO, or Should I could go for something blue, else. Yeah. I recommend playing with the Ghost, uh, because it's a really good pistol. Also, it so, might, you know, kind of reminds you of a pistol we have on CS. Come on, we're we just saying that this game was just too fast, last game of the day. Oh, oh yeah, this is the last game, isn't it? Well, maybe. If we just die. And a flash. Oh, I failed. Whew. The chat is also a lot more discreet than it is on CSGO. I didn't have enough time to type GG. Okay, okay. Um, well, that was it. <laughs> that went fast, right? So as you can tell, there are a lot of similarities with CSGO and CSGO players will have an easy path uh, going into it. Um, I, I can show it to you right now, going into the range. So we are now in the range, uh, which is what we call aimbots in CSGO that has been made by the community. Well, <laughs> the devs have made one for the game. So in CSGO, you would like bounce the flash here so that it pops instantly there. But here with this character, I'm able to hug the wall, look up and flash in like this. Again, different skill set, different abilities. They are taking the core of CS and they are adding new abilities on top of it. Let's talk a bit about the recoil. I'm not gonna pull my mouse at all and I'm gonna take an AK or a Vandal. I'm just gonna spray and see how far up it goes. Does it remind you of something? And if you zoom in, divide it by half. That is CSGO. Now, the thing is, the thing is all of the weapons have kind of the same pattern. So if you're coming from CS, pulling down the mouse is something you do naturally. It is literally what we do every day, without even thinking about it anymore. So CS players will have a really easy way transitioning into this. The moving inaccuracy is kind of the same as CS, which means that if you're gonna run around and spray like an idiot, it isn't gonna work at all. But if you're actually taking your time to strafe, come to strafe, shoot, fire, control the recoil, same way, well, it will work the same way CSGO does. Now, of course, there are a few things different, but the core is there. And in the end, here's my takeaway from this weekend. I see potential in Valorant. They define the game as a tactical FPS where abilities create exciting gameplay, and have they succeeded here? Well, I played around 30 games this weekend, and I can tell, yeah, it is fun to play. Once you have passed the cartoonish look of it, once you understand that this is not CSGO, and you should not expect to find the classic CSGO, the game is fun. 
Now, of course, there's also a few things that I hope the devs will fix, and this is also why we were invited to provide an actual wave of feedback, and this is the first time I ever got asked my opinion in a way that it seemed like it mattered, you know? Some abilities needs to be balanced, and I regret to see the speed acceleration being so linear, leading to this impression of always being slow when peaking. But to be fair, CSGO also has its fair share with issues like the balance of the deagle, killing in two shots, the SG is OP, smoke's fadings are inconsistent, and all of that stuff. Also, the fact that each character can only be picked once per team will probably lead to a lot of toxicity in the matchmakings. I've got to see it for myself firsthand on Apex Legends, it will be a source of conflict for sure. So I hope that the Riot team will find the ways to moderate those. Lastly, will this game kill CSGO? Well, I think they will both coexist actually. I expect Valorant to speak from every player base, TF2, COD, Overwatch, CS, and eventually the game looks more appealing and casual friendly than CSGO is. And this might even convert people to join the FPS genre and eventually end up trying CSGO. Keep in mind, Valorant will be free to play, just like CSGO is. Again, I see potential in Valorant, and I gotta say that I'm the first one surprised. On the first look, those abilities make it look like some kind of weird joke, but eventually, once you try and learn how to counter them, how to use them, once you understand and the meta is getting fun. And also, CSGO has never had any kind of competition. Now it kinda does. And this might give Valve an actual reason to step up in the end. So on and on, Valorant could be beneficial for CSGO. But this, only the future will tell. For now, I will leave you with a few highlights from this weekend. And as always, thanks for watching my friends. I will see you guys in the next video. Remaining. Ah, ça c'est pas. On target. Double arm. Oh. Nice. Let's go. Ah, c'est qui parle. B B B pushing B pushing B. Nice B. Down Nice. One more. Down drive down drive. One, one on site and one upper B. One up. One upper B. Nice. Ah lui. Yeah you got this. I didn't think that he would be there. I can't read this guys. Good luck. Oh god I gotta go. <rire> J'ai mis 137 à elle. Voilà. À gauche, il y en a encore un. Allez, à gauche, il y en a un autre. Un autre. 10 balles, les gars. Bien joué ça. Et ça. <rire> Solide. Bam. Non mais je pense, je suis pas sûr. Hein. Il y en a une qui est bien, je pense en tout cas. Je rentre dans la smoke. Un short, short, un short. Non. Il a fait bien un mec paradis hein. Oui. C'est mon gars qui va arriver. Non c'était. Bah là tu veux dire. Mon gars. En hauteur. Le ace de Unu Nane. Et... Oh, il a fait les 5. 30 seconds left. Planting on B. <laughs> planting on B right now. He's planting on B right now. I hit him. <laughs> oh my god, you killed That's one way to do it. I would fucking what hate you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, by the way. The range! He's literally on A and he's and killed the plant on B. Actually, uh, you